Welcome back, everybody, to the Red Hot Lock Sports Report. I'm Circus Dave. With me, as always, Kimberly Sargent. How you doing today, Kimberly? Still doing a little rough. University of Georgia let me down once again and lost to Arkansas at home. Ouch. Ouch. Okay, everybody, we got a busy report. We're going to get right at it with Kimberly Sargent and the news and notes. Brandon Jacobs takes losing oh not so well. Yes, New York Giants running back Brandon Jacobs resulted to acting like a eight-year-old losing a recess game, throwing his helmet 10 rows deep into the stands at Lucas Oil Field on Sunday. During the team's blowout, they lost to the Indianapolis Colts. Dallas Cowboys coach Wade Phillips face says, gee whiz guys, Jerry's gonna be really mad. <laughs> Last Sunday, seven underdogs won their games, and the Chiefs, Bucks, Dolphins, Texans, and Steelers, even without Big Ben, led their division and are still undefeated. Are we in the twilight zone? <laughs> Chicago Cubs outfielder Tyler Colvin reassured fans Monday that he's doing okay just a day after a scary incident in which his chest was punctured by a piece of broken bat. Ouch, really, ouch. And for our tweet of the week comes from Arizona Cardinal Darnell Dockett. I'm in the hotel hungry as precious. OMG, room service won't deliver and we got curfew so I can't leave. This is terrible. Are you kidding? Darnell delivers again. More precious humor. As soon as they started running onto the field, that's when I went, said Brandon Hanning, formerly known as Ohio University's Rufus Bobcat mascot. The Bobcat sideswiped the Buckeye mascot who got back to his feet and continued his sprint towards the end zone. But Rufus, oh no, no, he wasn't done. He then chased Brutus into the end zone, climbed on his back, and rode him to the ground. The two then tussled with Rufus, punching the Buckeye in the oversized head while fans booed. Smells like team spirit. Great job, Kimberly. Hello, Red Hot Locks fans. I'm Amberly French. Next up, Red Hot Locks senior writer Mike Anderson with the pick of the week. Hi, Mike. Hi, Amber. That was a great pick you had last week with Nebraska crushing Washington. Who do you like for this week? This week I like Oregon. I think they're going to handle ASU and the 10.5 point spread with ease. Okay, fabulous pick with Oregon. Have a great weekend, okay? You bet. Thanks, Amber. We'll see you soon. Okay, see ya. All right, bye-bye. The Red Hot Locks Pick of the Week is off to a great start. 2-0 going into Week 3. Nice work, guys. And now our fantasy football coverage with Jordan, the guru, Fladell, and Circus Dave. All right, Red Hot Locks fans, we have Jordan Fladell from the FFL Guru on the Skype cam today. Jordan, how you feeling? Feeling great, Circus Dave. How about yourself? I'm doing well. Jordan, let's talk about our World Championship of Fantasy Football team, Red Hot Locks, this week. Well, we had a better week this week than we did last week because we got the W, and we got hot. We got hot from a guy named Kevin Walter. Kevin Walter had a great day. About 11 receptions, 100-plus yards, and a score. And we also got our, with our, our, some great points from the Pittsburgh Steelers defense. This was your call in the 14th round of the draft. We went with the Steelers. We played them this week against the Titans. NCJ shut them down. Turnovers abundance. Touchdowns on the opening kickoff. It was a great win for us. Now we've got to keep that momentum on our side and keep rising up the leaderboard. All right, Jordan, let's talk about let's talk about a free agent pickup that we could pick up in the draft somewhere that even our even on the Red Hot Locks members could get that we could uh, take a look at. I, will, I tell you what, this week is going to be tough for us. We're going to decide how much money we're going to put down on Demarius Thomas, the wide receiver from the Denver Broncos. This guy, the first-round draft pick, they called him Bay Bay down here at Georgia Tech. He made Josh Nesbitt look like a good quarterback, and I tell you what, Kyle Orton is a good quarterback. And this guy went out, he had eight catches in his first game, he is a guy you want to find and put him on your lineup. Make a waiver claim. Get him on your roster. It's exciting stuff. Thanks again, Jordan. We'll talk to you soon. Have a good one, Circus Dave. Now check out Big James as he tackles the fastest 30 seconds in NASCAR. And now the fastest 30 seconds in NASCAR with Big James. What's up, Red Hot Lockers? Big James here. NASCAR goes to Dover, the Monster Mile. It's in Delaware. Look for Jimmy Johnson to make a comeback and rebound off his 25th place finish. Denny Hamlin's going to falter. The other chasing guys, they're probably going to finish around 10th or so. That's all I got. It's even faster than 30 seconds. And that's the fastest 30 seconds in NASCAR with Big James. I'm fast. <laughs> James, you kill me. And that's about all the time we have for the Red Hot Locks Sports Report. 
They're gonna say, who do we have to thank? All right, everybody, I wanna start off with thanking Jordan Fladell, a VFFL guru, and 790thezone.com for helping us out with all the help on Team Red Hot Locks and the World Championship of Fantasy Football. Next, I wanna thank new Red Hot Locks sports reporter, Amberly French, for all her work. Great job, Amberly. And don't forget the RedHotLocks.com writers, Brad, Ross, Scott, Gil, Big James Ellison, and of course, our senior writer, Mike Anderson. Hey, everybody, be sure to check out the sports report on Spike TV, Daily Motion, VMO, Blit TV, YouTube, and of course, at RedHotLocks.com. Be sure to check out all the writers as well at the .com address. Absolutely, and a special thanks. Without that thing, we couldn't make all these things Absolutely, happen. great job in New York, guys. Way to go, Mark. And that's a wrap for the Red Hot Locks Sports Report. Be sure to check out all the writers at RedHotLocks.com. See you next week. See you next, have a great weekend, everybody. See you next week.